Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera, salam Malaysia Madani. I'm Dr. Agosman bin Maktab, the chairman of the revised STPM examination syllabus Mathematics 954, and I'll give a briefing on the revised STPM examination syllabus Mathematics 954. Mathematics 954 syllabus is designed to enable candidates to understand mathematical concepts, develop mathematical thinking, acquire problem-solving skills, and apply mathematics in various disciplines. The objective of this syllabus are to enable candidates to use mathematical concepts, terminologies, and notations, display and interpret mathematical information in tabular, diagrammatic, and graphical forms, identify mathematical patterns and structures in a variety of situations, use appropriate mathematical models in different contexts, apply mathematical principles and techniques in solving problems, perform calculations and approximation to a specific degree of accuracy, interpret the, the significance reasonableness of results, present mathematical explanation, arguments, and conclusion. Next, we move to the scheme of assessment. There will be a written test at the end of each semester. For semester one and semester two, candidates are required to answer all eight questions of variable marks. Meanwhile, for semester three, there will be six questions which must be answered. The tests are central assessment and this and the duration of the examination for each paper is two hours. The percentage of the weightage for each paper contributes 33.33%. Basically, the themes and the topics for the revised STPM examination syllabus Mathematics 954 are the same as the previous syllabus. Only a few topics and subtopics are rephrased based on the suitability of the learning objective covered. For topic one, it is rephrased as functions and equation. The subtopics are shortened into two. Subtopic 1.1 is function and graphs and subtopic 1.2 is equation and inequalities. For subtopic 2, the topic remains unchanged as in the previous syllabus, which is sequence and series. However, the subtopics are now divided into two, which is 2.1 sequences and 2.2 series. Next is topic 3. The topic is matrices and system of linear equations. The subtopics are the same as in the previous syllabus, namely 3.1 matrices and 3.2 system of linear equation. Topic 4 is complex numbers. The topic will cover 4.1 complex number in Cartesian form and 4.2 complex numbers in polar form. For topic 5, which is analytic geometry, the topic will touch conics and parametrics and polar curve. The last topic of semester one is rephrased to vectors and geometry. These topics are 6.1 vectors in three dimensions and 6.2 three-dimensional vector geometry. Next, we move to the content of for semester two. All the topics for semester two remain unchanged. The topics and all subtopics 7 are the same as previous syllabus, which is limit and continuity. For topics 8, which is differentiation, the subtopics are divided into three, 8.1 derivatives and rules of differentiation, 8.2 curve sketching, and 8.3 rates of change and optimization. The next topic is integration, also has three subtopics. Subtopic 9.1 is indefinite and definite integrals. Subtopic 
is techniques of integration and subtopic 9.3 will be area between curves and volumes of solid of revolution. Topic 10 is differential equation subtopic 10.1 will cover the first order differential equation with separable variables and subtopic 10.2 is regarding first order linear differential equation. For topic 11, Maclaurin series, the topic is divided into two subtopics which are representation of function as Maclaurin series and application of Maclaurin series. And the last topic for semester 2 is the same as the previous syllabus, which is numerical methods. 12.1 will be numerical solution of equation, and 12.2 will be numerical integration. Now, we proceed to the third semester, which is the statistics theme. There are few changes in the syllabus for semester 3. There will be no longer topics, data description, and chi-squared test in the semester. Topic 13 start with probability. Subtopic 13.1 is probability of single event and combined events. And the subtopic 13.2 is conditional probability. For topic probability distribution, it will be divided into two main topics, which are discrete probability distribution for topic 14 and continuous probability distribution for topic 15. For the topic discrete probability distribution, the subtopics are 14.1 discrete random variables and 14.2 binomial and Poisson distribution. Meanwhile, for topic continuous probability distribution, the, the subtopics are 15.1 continuous random variables and 15.2 normal distribution. Next, for topic 16, the topic is sampling distribution and estimation. Topic 17 remains as the previous syllabus, hypothesis testing, but now the topic breaks into 17.1 element of hypothesis testing and 17.2 is hypothesis testing on a single population. Last but not least, the revised STPM examination syllabus mathematics 954 introduced a new topic in semester 3, which is correlation and regression. The last topic has two subtopics, which are 18.1 correlation and 18.2 regression. That's all about the briefing for the revised STPM examination syllabus mathematics 954. All the best to all teachers and students. Thank you.